Hey, Strauss. Come on, stop sleeping. Uh, what do you need, Arthur? I've forgotten what it was now. Go back I'm to bed. Trying to dream. Dumb, dumb. Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. Well, now, you sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. Well, not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. <laughs> Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. <sighs> Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to get Charles over here. Charles. Buddy old pal. We're heading Charles, out. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. Come on, Charles. Ha! Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney. About these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. <laughs> Something like that. All right, Shouldn't I fixed it. Eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town. I knew Dutch Easy. was gonna play him like a fiddle. And I gotta on get off from one bunch of lawmen. And I gotta get back on another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. Hmm. <laughs> so, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. No ah, money, no dough. Look at this, that one with the fire outside. Let's take a look. Ow, oh, shit. Oh. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. What do you think? Uh, let me look. Let me look. Let me look. It's bad. Bed's not made. So he must have been here recently. There's some blood here. That ain't good. Uh. Oh, there's a struggle. Oh, apple, apple. Nice. Pretty recently, I'd say. Look, I guess Tracks. maybe uh, twelve hours Come ago. On. But no body. Not yet. Hmm. They went down the path here. All right. All right. My tracking's so good. Check this out. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know, when me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. See? Oh, I see wrong, somebody. Arthur. See? They must have crossed over the tracks. Hello, gentlemen. Wake up! Jeb! No. Wait. Now, where were we? Where's my friend, buddy? I... I Come on, speak! He... He... Hey! Hey! No! No, he's, he's in a cabin! Down by Braithwaite Manor! Near the cornfield. Thank you. Charles, come on. Didn't that didn't need to do that, but that's just a little secret that they put in come there. Come on, let's go. Follow me. I think there's a way around so we don't have to go through the Braithwaite's place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. J 
just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, uh. kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. Yeah, we're big rustlers, big cowboys, oh. big cow oh, shit. Sorry. Straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I'm in. How much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. <clears throat> I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Oh! Uh, hey there! Uh, relax, relax. Hey, hey, thing? relax, relax. Whoa. I'm just, hey. Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that oh. sack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. Uh, 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 is that the lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so you're uh, alive. Allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. All right, perfect. Come on, fellas. Okay. I shot them both in the head. Where'd you go? Ah. Got him. Let's see what he got. How much money does this man have? 22 bucks. I know, I know. Dude, I hit him in the head? What? Nice. All right. Next guy. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Oh, okay. Oh. He's mine. Let me take him. Let me get out of here. You have my friend. He's not your friend. I'll give you money. Be quiet. Oh. Nice job, Charles. Come on. You should have taken the money. I know. I'll take his money. Don't worry, I'll take his money. Charles. Oh, shit. Thank you. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Got him. Other one's retreating, Charles. Get him. All right, I'll get after him. You stay behind. After I loot this guy's body. I, 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 listen, 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 listen. Listen! Oh shit! No, listen, listen! Listen, listen, listen! Oh shit! Oh, thank God. I thought I was dead. You should be the last of them. Woo! You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon, looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. Perfect. There always seems to be more. More and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West or 
what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Oh, we got a beard now. Um, let's see. We'll do this John Marston mission and then we'll go trim our beard. Okay. We're good men. Like you. You don't know me. You turn up in this town and you're helping everybody. And everywhere. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbred. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. $5,000 for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. We're gonna get money out God, of it, all right. All right, guys. Place is well We're gonna get guarded, money. So there ain't no point. Better in be money. In there. Better be a lot Make of money. I think we're there looking to purchase three armed men. You'd be armed if you were about to spend five thousand on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Boy, too many questions. Careful. There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well... I... Okay then, Let's head on up to the stables. Thank you, sir. Someone will come see you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's just hope we're not gonna get scammed out of anything, guys. Five thousand dollars is quite a lot for nowadays. All right. <laughs> oh, excuse me. That's oh, ugh. motherfucker. All right, let's hitch up here. Kitchen. Okay. Let me do the talking. Excuse me, sir. I'm gonna be doing the talking. Oh, Can I sorry. Help you boys. I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. 
These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. Oh, okay, guys. Uh huh, greaser, huh? Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Relax. Easy. Relax. Easy oh, he's so cute. What are you doing? Let's go, quick. Go, get out of here. I got the back. What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop. Hey! Don't yell at me! Don't you fucking yell at me! Oh shit! <laughs> what are you doing? Guys, where are you going? We're, I'm gonna head right towards them. Ooh, my horses, my horses. Oh, that's just a normal person. Don't shoot him. Damn. The gate's blocked. Go left. Don't Get shoot the, the horses, dum dum. There's more of them. I don't... Got him. Wait, no, there's one more. Where is he? Oh, there he is. Got him. Shit. I got him. Is loose. Oh, come here. Hey, hey. Oh my god, you little son of a bitch. Come here, stallion. Hello, boy. Our girl. Let's go. Hey, Morgan. Over here. You got him. Well done. Clemens Cove's just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. <laughs> hey, 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 Javier. you boys want heard you was uh, heard you pay good prices for horses oh we'll buy more or less anything pop that's so sure pop i'm clay davies that's my brother clive we're twins john arthur javier <clears throat> so what are you cuban no i don't like cubans that's so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got five thousand dollars, boys. But nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. I wanted more money, though. Oh. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family, and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. All right, guys, we got our fluffy beard. I decided not to trim it.
Um, but I think that is it for today. I hope you will see me next time for the next Red Dead Redemption video or another video that I might post. But other than that, I'll see you guys later. Peace. Love you. Bye.